Hello everyone, welcome back once again to my YouTube class. I am Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. This is another session of BMJ Virtualization. And in this session, in this class, I am going to give you another, uh, give you the complete information about the content uh, library. Because if we talk about previous sessions, so I think in our previous session, we discussed about uh, uh, distributed switch management. So now I am just going to proceed. Uh, with another topic because you know that uh, if you really want to be expert in uh, vSphere 7.0 in VCSA uh, content so you must need to know about the each and every options which is available in our inventory so we have already completed the part of host and cluster virtual machines and templates storage and networking now let's try to understand about the concept of content library so Let's try to understand about the theoretical part and after that we'll discuss about the procedure, how you can manage it. So basically, if we talk about the content manage, uh, content library, as per the name suggests, the content library is a type of, uh, uh, you can say that uh, it's a type of container or it's a, a logical container, you can say that, that can help us to contain uh, our uh, different, different types of services. Content library. So basically, the work of content library is a type of logical container, right? Which is responsible to contain n number of services. Like as you can upload the operating system ISO image. If you created a template for virtual machine like as a VM template, right? It contain the VM template. It is also responsible to contain the information about distributed switch. So these all are the services which is the uh, uh, you can say that contained by the content content library so let's try to understand because uh, in case of uh, um, a real environment if we compare our uh, uh, practical uh, our uh, training uh, practical with real environment like at the organization level of activity so each and every organization create a uh, must be create at least one library which is uh, contain the n number of ISO image for the different different operating system and contain the information about the virtual machines template and distributed switch information like that. So in single word you can say that it's a type of container which is responsible to contain the operating system, distributed switch, uh, virtual machines template and etc. I'm going to show you how you can use it. So what we just need to open our vSphere means uh, vCenter vSphere open content library and we are able to find two different options here advanced and uh, create so i have already created a con uh, component the library with, with name of components but i'm going to create a new one select any name like uh, anything like as i'm just going to proceed with training content right if you want to put anything related to the notes you can type here our recent server name is vcsa.class.com just need to press next I don't want to use, we have a two different way to proceed and create our content library. One is local content library and another is subscription URL. Means if you want to uh, download or you want to distribute the services to with the help of network and domain, so you can proceed with second one. I'm going to proceed with local content and we have a one option is enable publishing. If you want to distribute your uh, um, ISO or data which is available in our content library, so you must need to click on the publishing. So I'm just going to click next, no need to do anything, click next again. It is really important, you must need to provide at least one data store because whenever you upload the ISO image of any operating system, it required at least one storage services. So we have a one local storage which is uh, contain up to 51 gig of free space. So I'm going to select same storage, click next and finish. We successfully created a one content, uh, uh, content library with name of training contents. Just need to click here and I'm going to show you how you can upload the data from on-premises or how you can uh, uh, transfer your VM template to this particular container or this particular content uh, uh, libraries. So we have a number of options are available like as other types. We have OBF and OBA template. You can proceed with virtual machines template. So let, let's talk about the other type. So in case of other type, I'm going to show you the step how you can upload the ISO image from on-premises. Click other types, go to the action and it gives you option of import item. Click here 
and uh, I don't want to use the URL because I don't want to download it uh, from any FTP or internet. So press, click local files, click upload. And this is my on-premises machine and uh, I have already uh, collected, uh, I have a number of ISO image. So I'm going to upload one ISO image of Windows XP because it's just 300 something MB. So I'm going to select it and click open. Fine, Windows, not, not, not 2K8 because, uh, no, I want to upload Windows XP, not 2K8. Cool, this one is the Windows XP, just need to open it and import. Okay, uploading is in progress, it may be take up to 1 or 2 minute and within 1 or 2 minute we are able to find the same operating system in our content library. So if we talk about the usage of content library means uh, in real environment you must need to upload the ISO image of a multiple operating system that you can access that you can use to create to, to install the operating system in your virtual machine right like you want to create a virtual machine of Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows 11 so you must need to put the entire ISO image in the content library. Okay it is in progress meanwhile I'm going to show you the step how you can uh, transfer or how you can collect the virtual machines template as well. So for this particular task what we need to do, uh, we just need to open our host and cluster because the virtual machine which is available in our host, open the host and cluster that we created. So I have a one Windows 10 operating system, right? Right click on Windows 10 and we need to click on the templates convert to the template yes I want to convert it click yes fine we successfully converted our Windows 10 machine to the template back to the template panel this one is the template panel and uh, we have a template this one is our Windows uh, 10 template right click on your template and uh, clone to the library click here and we have a, both types of uh, libraries are available like as a components and training content. I'm going to select training content, Windows 10. For the verification, for the identification, I'm just going to use a name temp. Okay. Done. We successfully uh, moved our uh, uh, template to the uh, virtual must to, to, to the uh, uh, content library so it is in progress it may be a uh, take time but you should know about the procedure back to the inventory again select content library select your uh, container that you created and if we talk about in case of other we have a one operating system and you can use this particular operating system while installation with your virtual machine right and in case of OVA template, so we successfully migrated, not migrated, uh, moved our Windows 10 template to the uh, OVA or OVA template. Clear? So I hope you all of you understand about the concept of uh, content library. So if you have any question or doubt, please drop a comment. Definitely will reach your comment and give you the proper solution. And please do subscribe to your Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel. Thank you guys. Take care and bye bye. We connect soon with another video. Take care guys.